Spinoi vlog. Today I decided that I want to cook a beef michado. So every time I cook this, it always reminds me of my mom. Every time she cooked a beef michado for us, just so good. So I'm gonna try to copy it as much as I can. So my ingredients are of course cubed beef. The one I'm gonna use is the one with the little fat so that it uh, it tastes good and then of course I have minced garlic onion chopped in really really small pieces and then my tomato I will put a little bit of carrots and of course my bell pepper and here is my potato cut in cubes I soak it in water so that it won't turn uh, brown so what I'm gonna do for now is I'm going to brown my beef and then after that uh, when it's brown already then I will start sauteing them so I'm gonna start browning my continue cooking it until it turns a little bit brown and then I'm going to start sauteing them. So I will leave it there for a little bit. Guys, I'm browning my uh, beef now. As soon as it's brown, I'm going to start sauteing it. And then after this, if I have time, I want to cook some beef broccoli. I have the thin slices beef already, and then I have my broccoli. So if I have time, I'll do it today. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. Let it brown here for a little bit. There is my meat. Almost there. Okay, since this is brown already, I'm going to try it in my wok. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to start sauteing it. I'm going to put my garlic. Yeah, I put my garlic when it's a little bit brown already. I'm going to put my onion and then my tomato. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, so let me put my tomato. I put a lot of tomato because I don't want to put tomato sauce. I will put a little bit of ground pepper. And usually I put a little bit of vinegar and then I'm not going to stir it because I put a vinegar and then I'm going to let it simmer or boil until it's tender. So my meat is boiling with all the ingredients, the garlic, the onion and tomatoes and while I'm waiting for that to to get tender, I'll be frying my potato half cook. Just brown it. Look guys, it's so good. And then there's my potato, I'm frying it. As if you put a uh, tomato sauce, but it's not. The color looks so good. After sauteing it and boiling, I decided I wanna put it in my Instapot because it's a little bit faster. Because you know, beef tends to be a little bit harder to get tender. It will take a while. So with the Instapot, 
just uh, 28 minutes it's gonna be soft already and then I'm I season it already so there you go I put it in my instapot so I put it in my instapot already uh, it's under meat stew instead of half an hour I put it for 25 minutes because uh, I still can uh, open this one after 25 minutes and see it needs uh, more seasoning or it needs more uh, tomato paste so we'll see 25 minutes and then my potato is frying you guys the potato is brown already so I'm gonna take it out okay while I'm waiting for my um, Michado in my uh, Instapot. I boil some water. Here I dip my broccoli because I want it half cooked. There goes my broccoli half cooked. So here's my seasoned uh, thin slices of beef for my beef broccoli. This is dinner. And uh, Michado, maybe for tomorrow, but if they want to eat it today, it's fine with me. But you know, beef broccoli is good to eat when you freshly cook it. The Michado, the more you wait for another day, the better because it tastes good after a day. Still waiting for this to turn brown and put a little bit of oil and then you saute it with onion and garlic season it with um, oyster sauce and voila it's beef broccoli yes, here I put the garlic already I'm gonna put onion while I'm finishing up sauteing this Mixing everything in seasoning. Mm, it's not so good. My instapot just dip. So I'm just gonna wait till the steam comes out from that one. It'll take two minutes and then I'll open it and start checking if the seasoning is perfect. If I need to put um, tomato paste with bacon it, but I think the tomato, the crushed tomato and the garlic, uh, the onion will do its job. But we'll see. My big broccoli is almost done too. Let me show you. I put everything already. Okay. I put the broccoli already so I'm gonna put a little bit of um, seasoned um, broth and cornstarch so that it'll thicken the, the sauce there you go guys my beef broccoli I tried it already it's so good so it's so fast to cook um, as long as you have all the ingredients so anyway one recipe down and then I'm just waiting for my michado uh, to get a little bit um, cold because it's in my instapot and usually instapot is like a um, pressure cooker so I have to wait till the steam comes out and then I can open it then we will check our michado I'll see you guys a little bit so here is my michado <laughs> I just opened my um, Instapot so it looks good I will just get a taste it and put my potato and my carrots and my red bell pepper for the final ingredients I don't think I'll be needing a uh, tomato paste or tomato sauce the color is so perfect the sauce amount is just enough so I put my 
um, carrots and bell pepper already and then later on when I'm about to um, finish I'm going to put my fried potato so guys looks like it's done sauce is perfect so when I put the potato it's gonna thicken it anyway but it's thick already I tried the beef already and it's tender so everything is ready let me just put the potato as it's almost done another maybe five minutes and I'm going to put my potato there's my potato so here's my michado guys so in span of less than two hours I cooked two recipe beef broccoli and michado thanks to my instapot I don't have to uh, stir it every now and then you just put it in set it for 30 minutes and then the rest you put it on manual and then that's where you put all your ingredients and that's the chance you're gonna start seasoning it and putting all the rest of your ingredients and that's about it so it's done I'm gonna turn it off I'm back so after cooking my michado and my um, my beef broccoli I kind of like to take a shower a real quick shower because I need to clean my car so I went out and start cleaning my car because tomorrow is my first day after five months of being on medical leave I'm gonna start working tomorrow kind of like scared and excited uh, that's for the last 21 years of working that's the first time I was on medical leave for five months so it's kind of like nervous at the same time but excited I really want to go back to work so anyway so uh, we ate dinner already everything tastes good especially the michado so I'm gonna end my vlog uh, now please don't forget subscribe like and share and if you can share it to all of your friends and have them subscribe I will really really appreciate it so um, be safe and see you in my next vlog